Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from appsdba.info. In the previous session, we have upgraded our database from 12.1.3 to 12.2 and our database is in uh, 12.1.0.2. In this current session, we are going to upgrade from uh, release 12.2 to 12.2.10. Uh, we are going to follow this particular note ID. Uh, before we can do we need to see that our optimizer adapter features is equal to set to false and bounce the database because we are going to use the cost based optimization then we need to apply the consolidated C table upgrade uh, patch the patch number is uh, yeah this is the patch number we need to stop we need to start the admin server and we need to apply on the uh, in our run file system that is the reason why we have mentioned hot patch is equal to yes then we are going to apply the latest uh, AD and TXK uh, patches. There are four patches. We are going to go with Delta 12 uh, patches. You can always verify this particular note ID. Uh, when I was preparing this document, I went with Delta 12. So in case if you proceeded uh, in test instance uh, with Delta 12, it's better to go with Delta 12 in, in prod also, you know. So don't try something new in, uh, in prod. So before before proceeding with applying the patches, we need to run the AD grants on the database tier and apply all the four patches. Few patches have to be merged too. You can just follow these uh, steps what I have what I have done. Then after that, we need to run the auto config on the database and on the application. And then we are going to apply the uh, you know uh, we are going to stop entire web logic and we are going to apply this 12.2.10 patch uh, in a downtime mode. You know apply mode is called downtime means it will apply it directly on the run file system uh, it is not going to follow any patching cycle right so that is what is uh, you know downtime mode uh, so in case you are having some issues we need to uh, while connecting to the sysadmin i had one issue we can find out this uh, we, we have the, this is the solution once that is completed we have to do a cleanup and run the fs clone the reason being fs clone is we wanted to sync both our run file system and the patch file system after that last but not the least we need to run the help patch uh, that is the, that is this particular patch number it can be applied on the hot patch is equal to yes on that means it will be applied on the run file system then we run the pre-clone on both the database and application tire in case if you wanted to clone this particular instance in some other instance uh, we can always pre-clone and after that you can take a uh, backup so i also provided the steps for you know if at all you want to upgrade the jre version uh, we can do that we can do that maybe after this we are going to uh, i'm going to show you how to how to do that so this is pretty much what we are going to cover uh, uh, as uh, after the upgrade from 12.2 you are uh, you're ready to upgrade to 12.2 so i will just show you a few parameters and uh, uh, we'll start applying so if you see this i have already so let me connect to the database Yeah, it is already been set and I've also I've also uh, I have provided this particular parameter in the uh, in the init parameter and restarted. So we are pretty good now. Uh, so we will apply these uh, consolidated patches for that. We need to uh, stop the application and start the admin server. So uh, why not we apply this particular patch? So for that, I need to run the application environment file. right so i ran the application environment file and we are going to apply this particular uh, consolidated c table patch by running this particular command so also i wanted to tell you that uh, after you apply the ad and txk patches uh, a new environment file ebs dot uh, app ebs dot ebs apps dot environment file will be created you can watch at one particular stage it will get created uh, once you apply the delta 12 all the delta 12 patches that i'll be covering in the next session but in this session uh, we'll just uh, now we'll just finish uh, with this uh, consolidated uh, c table patch yeah. so the admin server is started and we will apply the patch oh, okay so what's this so since earlier patching system failed and you cannot apply this patch, please apply this okay so 
so let me say restart is equal to r i'll go to abandoned is equal to yes so there is something called restart is equal to yes and abandoned is equal to yes so if at all you want to terminate the earlier session you can always use uh, abandoned but i'm not sure uh, maybe you may not get this particular issue uh, i may have to uh, recheck abandoned is equal to yes means it is going to apply this particular patch from the fresh whereas restart is equal to yes means it will uh, it will try to apply the previous patch from the place where it has stopped uh, so we need to know the difference between abandoned and, and restart so let me wait for this particular patch to get completed well the consolidated patch is completed so just to rewind i just went through oh, the upgrade steps from 12.2 to 12.2.10 and uh, we need to apply the console c table which is successfully applied in the next session we are going to apply the latest adntxk patches thank you